inspired me to... St. Catherine's Mayor Walter Sanzig bid farewell to his beard this week. A ceremony, check presentation, and razor put an end to the mayor's summer beard that he grew to pay tribute to tragically hip lead singer Gord Downey. I feel 10 years younger and 10 pounds lighter. It, 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 it's, a great, it's a good feeling. What have the last 11 weeks been like? Uh, it was interesting to see how the community reacted to the beard as it grew longer and also how it felt. So it went through stages of being itchy and then I just threw um, Craft Arts Market downtown St. Catharines. I started to add a balm to it, a beard balm, started combing it more. And then my, my sort of actions changed, meaning I, would, I found myself starting to sort of <laughs> just pot it, I guess is what you want. The camera caught you doing that, <laughs> and it, it's, it just happens, doesn't it? Yeah, it just becomes habit. And so it was interesting to see how my habits changed when it came to that, and uh, it was it was, a, it was an interesting, interesting experience. The Beard for Gord campaign began innocently enough. Senzik attended the mayor's charity golf tournament after not having shaved for a few days. A winning bid from Tom Rankin of Rankin Construction then committed him to his new look for 11 weeks, with the one foundation being the recipient of all funds that were raised. Yeah, I mean, not only is the mayor, he's also a friend, so I got fed up looking at this ugly beard over the last 11 weeks, so. You've seen the evolution of Mayor Senzik. Evolution, yeah, gone from good looking, sort of young guy to Neanderthal all in a short period of time, it was pretty bizarre for a good cause. What are your thoughts? I know you're heavily involved here with the One Foundation. Yeah, I mean, obviously he picked this cause, which for as past chair of the organization is great, so we really appreciate that. And uh, it's much needed, so it's all good for us. Mayor Senzik's beard caught the attention of the staff at Tootsie's tune-up. Employees donated money for every shave they performed over the past few months and were on hand to perform the ceremonial shave. I own Tootsie's Tune-Up and I just thought what a great way to contribute two dollars for every uh, beard trim and shave uh, during the 11 week period. Now that evolved into a nice donation today as well as the honor of shaving Mayor Senzik, is that right? Uh, that's correct. Actually more people were getting beard trims and shaves because of that so um, it did and it was, I was pretty proud of our donation today. <laughs> The second floor waiting room of the Walker Family Cancer Center hosted the event. Dr. Janice Giesbricht, the medical director of oncology, says there is a direct link between community support and patient care. And what it really means is that people are pulling together to share an experience and to, to help support someone else who needs to have that positive experience and support. And I think the inspiration from um, Gordon Downey for uh, our mayor and uh, Tom Rankin and all of the connections to community businesses as well, Tootsies, that's a, a really positive story about people reaching out to help each other and making a, a fun event out of it. Um, so I think it's a great day. In Niagara, you're watching The Source.